Love's Nipples by Hebrick Truman. <clears throat> what a sight to see, Love's Nipples must be. <laughs> Are they swans dancing in water? Are they innocent as lambs to the slaughter? If there were nipple police, could I report her? Mankind's most beautiful daughter. Come in. You guys want to see me? Yes. We found you last night. Didn't look good, Hepster. We've held a meeting and the verdict is in. You need to move on. But Shh. I... The unstoppable events train has left the station. You need to get out of your cage. Today, Elwood and I will turn you into a dating god, my friend. Here are the rules. When I clap my hands, you say something funny. And when I stamp my feet, you change the subject. When I beep my watch, the date starts, and when I beep it again, the date stops. Until this is finished. I don't want you to think of us as your friends. Don't even think of us as men. For the next ten minutes, we are women. Hi. Call me Olive. When you're born, your mind is this photo album. And, and as you get older, it fills up. And this one album, it's, it's, it's all her and every picture in this masterpiece. And I, I look happy. I, I look good. Just stop it. You just go on and on. You know what I think? I think you'd rather pine over some perfect album than get out there and risk getting some bad pictures. Now listen up, Fearless. Listen good, you punk. When I was nine, I went camping with my parents. I got lost in the woods. A big bear came up to me right up to my face. It sniffed me, and then it left. You think you've nothing to fear? Well, I'll scare the living crap out of you. Then I'll hold it right up to your nose. I'll make you smell fear all right. I'll be seeing you soon. Real soon. Don't worry, Happy. So there was no conversation. You just, you just need to learn how to start a dialogue. Try questions. How are you, Olive? Questions will get you responses. But remember this. The, the quest... Damn it. Question you ask is an question you ask is an answer to an unspoken question. What, what is he like? Ask about sports, and she'll know you like sports. The question is a bridge. If it's about a common interest, you'll be over running water. Now ask Olive something. Hi, fearless. I'm Rachel. And I'm afraid of the usual stuff, like knives and guns and terrorism. Um, oh, and I love smelling permanent markers. Let's meet. Call me. Not good, Hepster. Not good at all. You're just not approaching this right. I think it's time to let you in on the secret. Because as we all know, if there's anyone around here who knows about women, it's Benedict, baby. Elwood, are you ready yet? Just a second. Dating is boxing. Yes, it really is that simple, gentlemen. At first, there's a little dancing around, the opponents sizing each other up, trying to find their combatants' weak spots, and then, pow, you go in for the knockout planted inside of Gertrude's personality. <clears throat> he put a lot of work into this. Don't laugh. 
<laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Is a weakness. You have three minutes to find it. And... But since, since then, in all the pictures, I've been pathetic, drunk. And when I saw her, she was just picture perfect as ever. Time's up. Today I'm going to boil you up a big bowl of fear, give you a fork, and then I'm going to make you eat. Throw in some jabs. So, Gertrude, uh, what's your biggest fear? Hit her, hit her. You, uh, bitch. The horror movies. <laughs> uh, something funny. Um, I was in a factory one time and I uh, saw a sign about steps being stolen from the office and if the steps weren't returned, further steps would be taken. Um, I, well, um, uh, do you have a favorite day of the week? I like Sundays. I like them so much I can hardly go a week without one. Knock her out! Knock her out! And time! Epic, it's your mother. Your father's having another episode. I'm a carrot. It's vegetables this time. I'm a potato. And why is your number in the ladies' washroom? Rhubarb. I might as well tell you. After we found you last night, we went to every bar in town and kind of wrote your phone number on the ladies' washrooms. And a few of the men's. Everyone who's supposed to be helping me isn't. They're just giving me bad advice. Take my best friends. To find me a new love, they've put my phone number in every girl's toilet in town. Wait, you're the hamster? <laughs> you're the talk of the toilets! Every girl in town wants to meet the fearless hamster. That explains the messages, but why do they call me fearless? Well, they must all think you wrote it. It just says your number, name, and then I am not afraid. Imagine that. The brave hepster gets his friends to write his number in the stalls for him. Turns out Mr. Fearless is just a coward. I'm not. I mean, I am. I am brave is what I mean. Here, I'll ask you out right now. Will you go out with me? No way. Besides, helpline policy. We don't date cases. Next time you call, ask for someone else, okay? I can't stand cowards. Time's up. Peanut? No. Yes. I mean... Thanks. I'm sorry I tried to scare you. Oh, it's okay. You thought I was something else. I wrote you a poem. Fear's Armpit by Rotunda Lesmore. French onion! 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 French onion. French onion, French onion, French onion, onion, onion. I love you. Call me.